Hello everyone, I'm Kelsey Lemon, Senior Technical Marketing Manager with the Cloud Management Business Unit here at VMware, and I want to welcome you to the Day 2 Mastery Series, where we look at specific features and workflows that allow you to get the most out of the service. So in this episode, I'm going to show what you can do with the Skyline Collector, the virtual appliance that gathers and sends key information related to product configuration, feature usage, performance, and environment changes to VMware for analysis. So if you're interested in learning more about how to optimize your productivity when it comes to connecting endpoints, updating their passwords, or even deleting endpoints in bulk, this session is for you. As many of you know, the collector is the brains of Skyline because it collects key data related to usage, performance, and configurations from the endpoints that it monitors. And as you can see from this high-level diagram, those findings and recommendations that are reported through the advisor come from the collector that gets configured as part of the installation process. But as you know, of course, many of the environments that we manage aren't static. They rarely look like the environments that we configured on day one. Quite the contrary. Our environments are dynamic in the sense that we're constantly managing those endpoints that the collector is connected to. And if you're working in a small environment, endpoint management, whether it's adding, updating, or deleting them, while somewhat tedious, may just be a bearable fact of life. But if endpoint management is a barrier that's preventing you from expanding your environment, or if you're looking for ways to be more productive if you're working in a large environment of products, I'm going to show you a neat tool that you may not be aware of, bulk operations. So let's check out the demo. I'm going to log into my collector. And I should note that in order to leverage the bulk product operations feature, you have to be using Collector 2.7 or higher. So make sure you're on the latest version by either enabling the auto upgrade feature in the collector, or you can do it manually by clicking the upgrade option on the banner notification within the Skyline Collector web interface. Okay, so with that being done, now for some contacts. I'm going to show what it's like to manually add endpoints from the products that Skyline supports. And as I go through the configurations for vCenter, NSX V and T, Horizon, vRealize Operations, and VMware Cloud Foundation, you'll see that I have to manually add the fully qualified domain name or IP address, the username, and the password for each of them. Now, this in and of itself may not be that much of a time sink if I had to do this for a few products, but imagine the productivity loss if I had to do this at scale across an environment of perhaps nine vCenters, one instance of VCF, two instances of vRealize operations, and 14 instances of NSX V and T. This is where bulk operations come in. The first time you encounter it, you're going to get a message indicating that you agree to participate in our customer experience improvement program that enables VMware to improve the quality of its products based on the data that Skyline collects to produce its proactive findings and recommendations. And after acknowledging participation in the program by hitting the continue button, you're given the option to download a blank template or click problematic products. Well, since this is the first time I'm using bulk product operations, I'm going to download the blank template and update it to create multiple product endpoints by supplying the product type, the host name, username, and passwords. And if you're using self-signed certificates, there's even an option to add thumbprint information for the products that you're adding, editing, or deleting. This field is not required, and the information will be retrieved by the collector if you don't enter it. Okay, so with the CSV file created, I'll drag and drop it into the collector interface so that it can be verified prior to executing the bulk operation feature. Once complete, you'll receive a notification indicating that the operation was successful. And if there were any issues encountered, you'll be given the option to download the problematic template that's already populated with the products that experienced issues in the operations so that you can make the necessary adjustments such as verifying that the supplied passwords and host names are correct. Okay, so with the products added, I can now see them 
all on the system status tab of my collector. Now I'm going to shift gears for a moment and I'm going to show an example where using the bulk update feature could come in really handy. Say for example, you're in Skyline and you're using Log Assist to send a log bundle to our support team. And you notice after a validation analysis that Skyline is reporting that you have connectivity issues with some of the endpoints that Skyline is monitoring. Of course, you can go back to the collector and manually update each product, or you can perform a bulk update with the appropriate CSV file. And once that update is done, you can go back to Skyline, perform a revalidation, and see that you have access to complete the log bundle transfer. And finally, because I'm a completionist, I'm going to show how you can delete multiple endpoints at once. The use cases vary as to why you would want to do this, but the option is available. The process is exactly the same as adding endpoints. Just change the operation type to delete in the CSV file and drag and drop it into the collector interface. And after the operation has been successfully completed, the endpoints will no longer appear. And if you're wondering, the answer is yes. Bulk product operations can be disabled by going to the settings option on the collector configuration tab and toggling the feature off. And with that, this concludes this episode of the Day 2 Mastery Series. I hope you found it informative. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and be on the lookout for live webinars where you can ask me and the rest of the Skyline team questions about the service.